What's going on guys, I'm Brandon, I'm with Franklin Armory, and today we're gonna to be doing an install video on our CZ Scorpion platform. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna start off by clearing the firearm, making sure it's unloaded, nothing in there, on safe, we're good to go, let's get to it. When you guys get your new trigger pack from Franklin Armory, you'll notice in the package there's going to be the BFS-3 for the CZ trigger group. Uh, there's gonna be an Allen key, there's gonna be a left-hand safety selector paddle, and another assembly screw. There's also gonna be a right hand uh, safety selector shaft and paddle. And uh, the last of it, not least, you're gonna have your left and right hand side safety selector stickers. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our charging handle is in a full and locked back position or else you can't take down the uh, lower. And we're gonna grab a bolt punch. We're gonna take down our takedown pin and we're just gonna pop that right out, just like so. And there you have it, right there. Take our lower, we're gonna set it aside, we're gonna grab one of our stickers, and we're gonna apply that to the side of the gun, like so. Now flip it over, and we're gonna do the other side. And there's a little notch on these stickers which is gonna go on, it's gonna follow the curve of that safety selector switch. And there you go. Okay, so depending on what generation of CZ Scorpion that you have, uh, you'll notice on the Gen 1, there's a little tiny raised circular plastic piece at the bottom of the trigger pack. And uh, you're gonna have to remove that before you install your new trigger pack from Franklin Armory. The Gen 2, perfectly flat. Don't need to file down or modify your lower at all. All right, now we should be able to uh, install our trigger pack. It's pretty easy to do. Just slide that right in there, like so. Make sure it's level with the bottom of the uh, safety selector. And we're gonna take our screw, we're gonna mount that right in there like so, get it started. Take our Allen key. Now it's really important that you throw a little Loctite on these and not over tighten them or else you'll strip out the bottom of that trigger pack. Next we take our safety selector and kind of get her in there started like so. And now the kind of pain is there's a little detent right here. You might have to take a punch or a Allen wrench and try and lift that up to where the detent slides over the selector. Now that we have our right hand side safety selector shaft uh, installed, we're gonna take our left hand side. We're gonna make sure that the safety selector is going to be in the semi-auto position. We're gonna take our provided little screw here. We're gonna line up the hole and we're going to insert that Allen screw and twist her down. Make sure you have some Loctite on that. If uh, this does back out and the left-hand side safety selector does fall off, it could provide a situation that's uh, potentially hazardous or unsafe. So make sure you Loctite that. All right, now that everything's installed, we're gonna do our function checks. Uh, first off, we're gonna do our safety check for making sure the safety works. So make sure it's all the way up and safety works. Okay, so function check number two. We're gonna take that safety selector, we're gonna roll it over to semi-auto mode. We're gonna pull the trigger so the hammer comes forward. We're gonna keep our finger on the trigger and make sure that it's held down. We're gonna replace the hammer to its original position and then we're gonna roll that safety selector over to safety mode and release the trigger. As long as the hammer doesn't come forward, we're good. All right, so function check number three. We're gonna roll that safety selector back over to semi-auto. We're going to pull the trigger, make sure that hammer comes forward, keeping the trigger held. We're gonna re-cock it. Now we're gonna let go of the trigger. The hammer should not fall forward. Looks like we're good. All right, so function check number four. We're gonna roll that safety selector all the way over to binary. We are going to pull the trigger, make sure that hammer falls forward, keep the trigger held back. We're gonna reset that hammer and slowly let go of the trigger until the hammer releases and we're gonna keep our finger at that point. Then we're going to make sure that the hammer comes back and it should fall to the sear. Good to go. Okay, so function check five. 
It's very similar to four. We're just gonna roll that safety selector over to binary. We're gonna pull the trigger, keep your finger held back on the trigger, reset the hammer. Then we're gonna slowly release until the hammer falls. We're gonna keep our hand or finger at that point. We're gonna reset it, then we're gonna pull all the way back on the trigger and then let go. And the hammer should fall forward. Looks like we're good. All right, function check number six. Uh, this is an important one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to switch it over to semi-auto mode. We're gonna pull the trigger, we're gonna re-cock the hammer, and we're gonna try and get that safety selector over to binary, and it shouldn't be able to go. Let go of the trigger, and as long as the hammer doesn't fall forward, you're good. Okay, so function check number seven. We're gonna roll that safety selector over to semi-auto. We're gonna pull the trigger, we're gonna re-cock, and then we're gonna try and really put some pressure on that safety selector. And while doing that, we're gonna let go of the trigger. As long as the hammer doesn't fall forward, we're good to go. Okay, last but not least, function check eight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this all the way over to binary. And we're going to pull the trigger, hammer goes forward, we're gonna recock it. And what we wanna do is we wanna roll that safety selector over to semi, and it should cancel that next shot. So we're gonna make sure the hammer doesn't fall on this one. Looks like we're good. Okay, so now that we have our trigger pack installed and we've done all of our function checks, we're ready to reinstall our lower into our Scorpion. Uh, before you do that though, we're gonna make sure this safety selector is going to have a little grease on it and that's gonna be in that little detent area that we were talking about earlier uh, with the safety selector uh, install. So make sure you throw a little grease in there or else it's gonna be a little bit stiff and uh, difficult to manipulate that safety selector. A little grease goes a long ways. Cool, now that we have our trigger pack installed in our lower and we're greased around that safety selector and detent area, we are ready to put our lower back into our firearm. Super easy to do. Make sure you take down pins all the way out. Slide that in there like so and slide the takedown pin back in and bam, there you go. You have a brand new binary trigger system for the CZ Scorpion. If you guys liked the video, be sure to give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and uh, stay tuned for more to come.